Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to another edition of Flick News, the show here on Flick Direct where I give you guys the latest that happened in entertainment news throughout the week and then I give you all my personal take on the matter at hand. I'm your host Austin Putnam and this week there was a lot of baked things happening this week besides Eternals coming out to which I, well, I'll talk about that later on. However, with all that being said, we do have a couple of other topics, starting off with Baby Driver 2 and an update from Edgar Wright. Well, not from Edgar Wright, but we do have an update on Baby Driver 2. In case if you guys have not seen it, Baby Driver was a kick-ass action movie. It was one of my favorite movies of 2017. I love Baby Driver to know when I love Edgar Wright's filmography. If you guys have been following the production of Baby Driver, even actually after the film came out, it was only that because the film's very successful box office that Sony wanted Edgar Wright to write a screenplay, into which apparently Edgar Wright has finished writing a screenplay, but apparently Edgar Wright may not be helming Baby Driver 2, and I'm going to say this really quick, I don't blame him if so. If you guys have seen any of Edgar Wright's films, Edgar Wright has never really filmed a sequel. Now, sure, you could probably argue that the Cornetto trilogy are sequels, but the thing is, the Cornetto trilogy, while it's a trilogy, yes, the films are only connected with each other by a couple of things. One, Simon and Pegg and Nick Frost, and two, the Cornetto ice cream flavor. If you with a screenplay, maybe someone else might direct it, but I think that Edgar Wright wants to make something that he wants to make, not just a sequel to an amazing movie, which, don't get me wrong, would I like to see Edgar Wright directing the sequel to Baby Driver? Absolutely. But at the same time, I don't want Edgar Wright to repeat himself, and I think that Edgar Wright has much bigger and much more better things on his career to do than a sequel to Baby Driver. Would I still like him to do it? Absolutely, but at the same time, do I think he's actually going to do it? No. Coming up on to our next news story, we have an update on Spider-Man No Way Home, which is definitely one of my most anticipated movies of the fall season, or actually at the winter season. I love the previous two Spider-Man films, Homecoming and Far From Home. I do prefer Far From Home to stay a tad bit more over Homecoming, but Homecoming was a badass movie. According to the film's official website, Spider-Man No Way Home is going to be, now this is just, I don't know if this is actually confirmed, this is just from the website, I don't know if this is, like I said, no confirmation, this is just from the website. The official rumor runtime of No Way Home is 2 hours and 39 minutes, making it the longest Spider-Man film to date. Do I think this film is going to be that long? Yeah, it's a possibility because, again, Look at the, what this film is trying to do. It's trying to introduce more of the multiverse. I mean, Loki introduced it already with the Loki show. And I definitely do think, well, also, well, I can't say it because it's a spoiler alert for Venom Let to Be Carnage. But knowing what No Way Home is trying to do in terms of the multiverse and everything else, there's so much going on in that film that I will not be surprised if it is actually that long. I will be shocked if it's anything shorter than, let's say, 2 hours and 20 minutes because knowing what the film is attempting to do with the storyline and with everything going on, this film should be over two and a half hours. Break on No Way Home, I'm very excited for this movie. Remember I mentioned earlier how I will be talking about Eternals at some point in the show? I figured I'd bring it up for our last topic. So Eternals has been proven to be a divisive movie for critics mainly, audiences are seeming to love it. How do I feel about Eternals? I thought it was okay. I think it's definitely in the, on the bottom tier MCU film called Iron Man 2, Thor 2, Age of Ultron, and Black Widow, but that's just me. I know many people are loving this film. Many close friends of mine are loving this film, and so many people I'm close to thought it was boring. I think of what the film was trying to do, I admired Chloe Zhao's ambition of what they were trying to do, but I think they were trying to grasp a little too much with this movie. Critics have been polarized by it, and the last time I checked, audiences are like, what, an 85%, maybe 86 Critics, however, are at a 48%, which I'm more with the critics on this movie. Fun fact for you all, out of all the MCU films, Eternals is the lowest rated movie on Rotten Tomatoes. This is the first movie the MCU to actually get a rotten rating. Personally, for me, I feel like this movie would have worked best as a series on Disney+. Plus. You could still keep the non-linear fashion, the non-linear storytelling, but just spread everything out, make sure there's care to develop, and make sure that we have the stakes, because at least in my eyes, this film had no stakes. It really did. I mean, I saw the villain, but there was just no stakes. I could go I could go on about this movie for ages because personally, I just wasn't a fan of the movie. However, if you guys out there really like the film, I'm happy for you. I just wish I was in the same boat. I'm happy you guys liked it. Personally, I'm just not one of the people that liked it. And that's going to wrap it up for this week's show. Please comment down below and let us know how do you guys feel about the possibility of Edgar Wright maybe not coming back to direct the Baby Driver sequel? Also, how do you all feel about the run to of Spider-Man No Way Home? And finally, when it comes to Eternals with the critics versus audiences, how are you guys? Are you on the side with critics who are polarized or are you on the side of audiences? 
audiences or are on the side of audiences who love the film let us know below i hope you all enjoyed this week's show if so please hit that like button also share and don't forget to the subscribe button and the notification bell for our latest new show goes live if you guys want to see our previous two shows please go to the right there or right there and of course until next week's show we'll see you guys next week have a great week guys hit like smash subscribe and get notified for when our reviews, interviews, and news go live.